Hi everyone, I'm Yu Wang from Duke University. In this talk, I'm going to introduce our recent work on using statistical model checking to verify information flow security properties, which are hyper properties. This is joint work with my colleague Siddhartha Naluri and Professor Miroslav Pajic from Duke University and Professor Borzu Bonakdapper from Michigan State University. In this work, we are interested in probabilistic systems. Arguably, all systems are probabilistic, but here are a few applications where probabilism plays an important role. There are probabilistic programs, randomized network protocols, randomized hardware control strategies for security considerations, and also cyber-physical systems that are subject to unknown environmental noise. The information security in these probabilistic systems are much more challenging than deterministic systems because unlike in deterministic systems where the private and public variables can be separated completely, in probabilistic systems the private and public variables typically depends on each other creating an implicit information flow. Here is an example uh, called probabilistic non-interference. Suppose we have a, a parallel program of two threads in which there is a private variable H and a public variable L. Suppose we run this um, two thread a parallel program on a CPU, which choose to run one of these two threads for one step uh, with equal probability. Then, as you can see, depending on the value of the private variable, the way that the CPU execute this parallel program will change accordingly, which will result in a change of the probability distribution of the value of the public variable. Therefore, an outsider repeatedly observing the public variable may infer the value of the private variable. To prevent such kind of information leakage from information flow from happening, in this work, we are interested in developing an automated tool that can check general information security properties on a computer system. Specifically, we would like to develop a verifier that can read a model of interest and also a general property of interest and then decide whether this security property holds on the model or not automatically. For this goal, we need to answer two questions. First, how to formally express information flow security properties, and also how do we develop mathematic rigorous verification algorithms for those properties. Uh, the rest of this talk will be organized around these two topics. When it comes to formally express properties, generally time-related properties of a single system execution should be formally expressed by temporal logic. For probabilistic systems, the common logic uh, is uh, called PCTL star. It is a language that is composed of the following syntactic rules. It has a set of atomic propositions capturing some basic facts, and it also has propositional logic connectives such as not and and or. Also, it has two temporal connectives that can reason about properties about time. Here, the next operator means something should happen at the next time instance, and the until operator says that something should hold until another thing becomes true, and this change should happen within the given time bound t. And there is also a probabilistic operator reasoning about probabilities. Using the logic PCTL star, we can express formally uh, general properties of interest. For example, if you want to express that uh, the value of the variable h is always above 2 with probability below 0 0.1, then this property can be expressed by a PCTL form star formula like this. However, a PCTL star cannot express information flow security even though it is very expressive. Um, take the probabilistic non-interference example that we just discussed as an example. There actually we are comparing the probability related to two system executions. Uh, such a property like prob probabilistic non-interference is called a hyper-property 
because it involves the relationship between multiple system executions, and obviously uh, the PCTL star logic cannot express those hyper properties because, as you can see, the logic connectives uh, and or next and uh, until are all invariably associated for a single system execution. To solve this problem, in this work, we proposed a syntactic extension of PCTL star. And based on this, we der derived a new logic called hyper PCTL star. Our extension are based on the following. Specifically, we introduced a set of path variables indicating different system executions. We also associate those path variables to the atomic propositions to indicate on which system path this atomic proposition should be satisfied. We also associate these path variables to the probability operators to indicate on which path, on which system execution the probability should be taken. And also we allow the comparison between those probability. So using this new logic hyper PCTL star, now we can formally express uh, the probabilistic non-interference property uh, using temporal logic like this. Uh, beyond that, we prove that hyper PCTL star is actually well defined, meaning that even though we made the syntactic extension, the semantics of the logic is still well defined. Our second, second theorem shows that hyper PCTL star is strictly more expressive than PCTL star, showing that there is indeed a new a need for this new more expressive knowledge uh, logic. Moving on, I'm going to introduce how to check hyper-PCTL specifications that capture information flow security properties. The technique we use here is called statistical model checking. Uh, specifically, uh, it infers the correctness of a hyper-PCTL star specification by sampling from the underlying probabilistic system. Uh, we actually developed a new statistical model checker called HyperSMC that can verify general hyper PCTL star specifications on, uh, on using system samples. Since HyperSMC is based on statistical inference, it is possible that it will return a wrong answer. But here our guarantee is that for any given parameter called significance level alpha, which is uh, greater than zero, a HyperSMC can smartly decide how many samples to take and guarantees that the return result is correct with probability at least 1 minus alpha. Our statistical model checking technique has uh, two advantages, three advantages. First, it is a model free method, therefore, it can tolerate unknowns from the underlying model and also scales well when the model becomes complex. And also, on the other hand, it provides a probabilistic guarantee on the result, and this is sufficient for most applications. More specifically, HyperSMC verifies a specification following the following two steps. First, it will divide a specification into a set of sub-specifications using the syntax and semantics of the new logic. Then it will use um, statistical inference techniques to infer the correctness of each sub specification smartly with sufficient statistical accuracy. Based on uh, the syntax and semantics of the uh, hybrid PCTL star, actually there are three kinds of basic sub formulas that we need to deal with probabilistic quantification of multiple parallel paths, nested probability path quantification and joint probabilities. For all these sub-formulas, uh, we developed new statistical inference methods based on sequential probability ratio test to verify them with sufficient statistical accuracy. Moving on, I'm going to show you a few examples on which HyperSMC can solve challenging security problems. The first case study is on dining cryptographer. It is a well-known and provably secure multi-party computation algorithm. Here, the security specification can be expressed by hyper-PCTL star like this. We run hyper-SMC on this uh, protocol that is provably secure to validate the correctness of hyper-SMC. The second case study is on verifying the probabilistic interference of variables in a parallel program with n-threads. 
Here again, the probabilistic interference specification can be captured uh, by hyper PCTO star like this. And for programs with different number of threads, we show that there is indeed a probabilistic interference. To validate uh, the statistical accuracy of hyper SMC, we also made empirical estimation on its uh, accuracy and compare it with the nominal significance level. As you can see, uh, they agree very well. Our third case study is um, verifying whether there exists a time side channel of a chat server with encryption called gap feed. Here, the existence of a time side channel can be expressed by hyper PC TL star like this. And for different time horizon K, we verify that there is indeed a time side channel. Our fourth case study is on verifying whether a randomized cache replacement policy is immune to a time side channel attack or not. Here, the security specification can be expressed by hyper PCTO star like this. And for different time horizon T, we verify that this replacement policy is indeed immune to a time side channel attack. To summarize, in this work, we propose a new method of using statistical model checking to verify security properties that are hyper properties. We also demonstrate the usage of this method on several case studies. The codes for the case studies are available on our GitLab repository. Thank you for your attention. If you have any question, please feel free to ask.